peace peace family hope you guys are doing great hope you guys are doing well uh, something just came to mind and I've been thinking about this for quite a while right now the fact that there is something happening throughout the world concerning religion especially Islam versus Christianity right who wins who wins the war who wins the debate who wins the discussions we are all having throughout the world on which religion is better or which religion should be followed which religion has the truth between Islam as well as Christianity who was the true custodian which was left to be followed was it Jesus Christ or was it the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam peace be upon him was it him or was it Jesus Christ when Jesus spoke about the holy spirit when Jesus spoke about the spirit of truth when Jesus spoke about the comforter and in all that he said he kept on putting pronouns talking about a human being saying he 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 was he talking about the holy spirit as many of us believe or was he speaking about the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam it's questions that many people are asking themselves so who should we follow which religion should we follow should we follow christianity should we follow islam it is a question many people are asking themselves and quite frankly many people have lost faith in christianity many people have lost faith in islam due to reasons such as these due to the confusion that is happening throughout the world and most of this confusion is made and driven by media by media by people's experiences with religion it doesn't matter which religious group you fall in but many people have thrown away the towel when it comes to god when it comes to allah when it comes to whichever religion you follow right and it might be based on experiences it might be based on the fact that they found a lot of controversial things within religion they found themselves not fitting in to religion and to the rules to the laws to the kind of lifestyle you must succumb to if you say you are a religious person but who wins the debate that is the most i don't know asked question that is the most impactful question we must ask ourselves right now who wins the war between christianity as well as islam who wins it who makes more sense i'm here to tell you right now so far in my research and in my reading of the quran the reading of the bible and in my own self discovery so far which one makes sense but i'm not saying i'm going to follow the one i'm saying it makes sense i haven't decided yet if i'm going to be a christian if i'm going to remain a christian or if i'm going to change and rather follow islam right i haven't decided but till now islam makes more sense than christianity i'm sorry to say this to all christians but as as much as ideology is concerned as much as or as far as ideology is concerned as far as the books we read are concerned as far as history is concerned as far as experiences as far as testimonies as far as the number of people who are joining this particular religious group it makes sense islam makes more sense than christianity right now it makes totally say more sense because if you hold the quran and you hold the bible hand to hand and you read book to book you are most likely to leave with something if you read the quran than you are to leave with something if you read the holy bible because if you read the holy bible most likely you are to come across parables you are to come upon teachings you are to come upon experiences that happened long time ago experiences that happened to a particular group of people for example let me say the israelites what the israelites went through 
you will not relate to it if you were to read your bible right now you would not understand why they had to to go through all of that moving from one place to another but if you read the quran and you read what allah is saying and you read about the prophet muhammad peace be upon him you begin to understand the simplicity of god the simplicity of religion itself to be honest if you watch any debate between a muslim as well as a christian there's a there's a place in the uk that's trending it's called the preacher's corner right and if you watch all the debates from different channels of people if you go there and you listen to all of these people debating and some trying to convert others to their own religion you begin to see and understand that but islam makes more sense all the questions being asked to the muslim preachers or the muslim brothers and sisters all of the answers make more sense when they come from the islamic point of view all the answers make more sense when they are asked about the prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam when they are asked about their own religion when they are asked about their own belief when you ask the christians it's always different answers it's always answers that are controversial answers that are mainly on revelation and we all know revelation can change from person to person and that is what i've gathered throughout this time and another thing i want to say this that is this is very important this is very important if you are a person who wants to follow a true religion you want to follow god wholeheartedly you have to know this this is very important take note of what i'm going to say right now a religion that stands for nothing is a religion that cannot be followed i'm going to say that again i'm going to say that again somebody didn't hear me i'm going to say it again i want you to hear this and i want it to get through your head a religion that stands for nothing falls for everything and is not worth to be followed christianity right now in the state that it is in it is not worthy to be followed i'm still a christian hey don't get me wrong but christianity right now is hard to be followed because of the lifestyle that we are supposed to live but we are not living of the scriptures that tell us what is right and what is wrong but we are not doing because of other scriptures that tell us opposite no you were living under the law you were living under the rules but we are now living under grace you know such things we say to justify sins that we do on a day to day basis islam doesn't do that another thing i want you to mark this mark this mark what i'm saying right now the bible teaches you that you must confess your sins one to another you must confess your sins to your fellow brothers to your fellow sisters to your fellow brethren but that has led us to commit more sin i'm going to explain why i'm saying that that has led us to committing more sin why am i saying that because if you were to tell your brother hey man i'm struggling with this and that he's going to be like hey i'm struggling with the same thing and then yet they go and tell another person like hey man how do you pray against this and that we are struggling with this and that the same person is also struggling with that thing now the entire religious spectrum in the entire religious spectrum excuse me that is seen as a norm that specific thing is seen as a norm that hey you can wear a mini skirt to church if you are a guy you can wear shorts to church what happened to us wearing shorts and ties at church like just a question right what happened between us wearing shirts and ties going to church what happened to that all of that is gone now right because of the norms because of what people say and what people have found to be common between people and they've normalized it right they've normalized it but if i were to read a scripture it says he delighteth not in the strength of a horse nor the legs of man but we were shows to church such things i'm just saying it's just an example right islam says only god knows your sins only god knows your mistakes 
Hey, confess them to him and repent and come back to him. There's no need for you to go and tell your brother what you're struggling with. It's not going to help him with anything. Yes, you can tell him, but like, I mean, how is that going to help you? It's only going to perpetuate the sin amongst the community of believers. But as Christians, we believe, hey, confess your sin one to another. But it's not here or there. What I'm talking about is which religion makes sense to me right now? Who wins the debate? In my eyes, I don't know in your eyes, but in my eyes, Islam makes more sense. I'm going to make another video. I don't know when because I'm still doing reaction videos to Islam. I'm still going to do more reaction videos to Christianity as well. And then from there, I'm going to take a stand on which religion am I choosing? Where am I going? Am I sticking with Christianity and why? Am I going to go with Islam and why? Right? So if you're new to the channel, do me a favor, do yourself a favor. Hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification. So that every time you post a new video, you get to know about it. And uh, thank you for watching, you guys. Peace.